Welcome to this tutorial on creating an Instagram filter look using Adobe After Effects Creative Cloud 2015. Instagram is quickly emerging as one of the top social media video platforms in online video. There will most likely come a time where your client or boss will ask you to add an Instagram filter look to a future video project. I wanted to make a short tutorial demonstrating how you can achieve some of these stylized filter looks by using gradients in Adobe After Effects. Keep in mind that there are several methods in creating these looks. The one in this tutorial is a quick way to create a customized style that can easily be adjusted. Starting with having your video loaded in Adobe After Effects, go ahead and create a composition by dragging the video to the Create a New Composition icon in the project panel. Scrolling through my timeline, you can see that I've got the silhouetted time lapse of the Brooklyn Bridge and the Lower Manhattan skyline. My goal is to make this an even more dramatic and saturated shot. We'll start by adding an adjustment layer. Navigate to Layer in the toolbar, then New, then Adjustment Layer. Now we have an adjustment layer sitting on top of our video clip in the timeline. Next, we'll go over to the Effects and Presets panel. If you don't see this panel, then go to Window in the toolbar and make sure there's a check mark next to the Effects and Presets option. In the search bar of this panel, I'll type in Gradient Ramp. Once you see it, take the effect and drag it on top of the adjustment layer we just added. Now we have this gradient with the default settings sitting on top of our video. Let's adjust some of the settings for this gradient in the Effects Control panel. In the Start of Ramp, change the first value from 960 to 0. Next, I'm going to adjust the Start Color to a deep blue. Open the Color options by selecting the Color Square next to the Start Color. I'll find the shade of blue I'd like to use and will press OK. Now I'll select an end color, which I'd like to make a deep orange. Again, I'll open the color option for the end color and select the color I'm looking for. Now before I adjust any more options in the gradient ramp effect, I want to see how this gradient appears when it's applied to my footage. We can do this by navigating over to the effects and presets search bar, and this time we'll type in calculations. Now drag this effect over to the adjustment layer. Back in the effects control panel, we'll change some options for the calculations effect we just added. Starting with the second source layer opacity, we'll change the value from 0 to 100. Then, change the blend mode from normal to one of the darker blend modes like hard light. Now we're able to see the gradient effect we've been customizing and we're starting to get that filtered look we're going after. We can go back to the gradient ramp options and make adjustments as needed. You can change the type of ramp from linear to radial. This changes the direction of the ramp. You can also swap the two gradient colors if you'd like by pressing the Swap Colors button. One of the best features of this technique is that we can always scale back the entire look since we added these effects to a separate adjustment layer. Navigate down to the adjustment layer in the Timeline panel and with it selected, press the T key to reveal the layer's opacity. You can decrease it by entering a lower value. This will reveal more of the original clip if you want to tone down the overall look. As you can see, this is a quick way to add a customized filter style that you can test and adjust as needed. Here's a before and after look of this effect. Give this a try the next time you get the request to create those popular filtered looks. Thank you for watching and check out my other tutorials on Streaming Media Producer.